Hello Superherd and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and today we're going to be going ahead and continuing on with the single player Grand Prix on 150cc. We're going to be doing the rest of the Retro Cups today. I don't know which character we wanted to play as. Um, Well we have one more new character we haven't played as. We have played as King Boo, Bowser Jr., the New Inklings, and now Drybone. So this is going to be the last new character we play and then we'll just mix it up with some other characters. Um, Yeah but we're finishing up the Retro Cups today, the last two of them. And who should we pick? Well, like, What exactly should we pick? What would fit with him? I actually like that color scheme. It mixes well with the gray shell. I think we'll go with that. Because for whatever reason, when he's like this, it's more of a purple, which the purple matches, but I'd rather it be the sort of crimson, not crimson, but uh, I guess silverish grayish. I don't know why crimson gained the mind, because that's not the same color. But <laughs> let's go ahead and, oh, these wheels look really nice. And those aren't even the uh, BMW wheels. Okay, well, and why is this blue? Why is his normal color Aren't they supposed to be matching their primary color? Huh, maybe they goofed on that. Cause I don't like that. But none of these other ones fit very well either. We'll just go ahead and do the rainbow one. And we're gonna be tackling Leaf Cup this time around. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're getting started with the Leaf Cup, if you can believe it, with Mario Stadium. That was a dumb joke, but I had to do it. Okay, well, hopefully everything works out well here. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm not that great at this course. But I think this is a decent card combo for me. I mean, honestly, I don't look at the stats ever. I pick what looks cool, and I work with it. And usually, most of the time, I can handle that, you know? Like, I think that that's how I, you know, I've... I, I've On my own time, I've gone ahead and, like, three-starred, I think, everything in this game. Um, all the uh, 150cc, 200, and Mirren on my own time. Because, you know, so I have some time to play games when I'm, like, editing and stuff. Because most of the time, I just have to listen to what I'm talking about and make sure everything is actually entertaining. Oh boy, come on, right? Catch it, yeah! <laughs> Hitting a Koopa with a Koopa shell just feels wrong. Like, I, just, I feel like I've done something awful. Oh boy. But I mean, technically, I am a Koopa as well. I'm just an undead Koopa. That's what Dry Bones is, right? He's just sort of like the opposite of a zombie, because usually zombies are just like, you know, rotting organisms, while, I mean, I wouldn't want to be in the opposite of a zombie. It would just be a progressed zombie, because we are all the way rotted. We are just bones now. We are dry bones, what do you know? All right, let's go ahead and get these two coins. There you go, that's all I needed. And let's keep going. So yeah, I'm glad that we've been doing two cups an episode. It has been a lot of fun. This is also my first uh, Mario Kart episode that I've been recording after Nintendo's E3 event. Sort of, kind of. Okay, so we've you know finished up the actual conference. We've also finished up day one and two of their E3 Treehouse Live event. And currently, I think uh, day three should be getting started any moment now. So hopefully that's nice and cool. Now they have announced things during the Treehouse Live, and I'll talk about everything. I think the only announcement they've been confirmed to have today is going to be something ARMS related, which is super exciting. Hopefully it's not something I already know, because I already have the game. But maybe it's something cool, like maybe they're actually confirming some future DLC plans or something, because that's something they said. I'm pretty sure is that they do plan on supporting the game via DLC after release for a certain amount of time, just like they did with Splatoon. Which would be so cool if they added new characters or DLC in whatever way. I'm hoping that's the case, but if I can get double items, so we do have a decent lead right now. So as long as we can just pull ahead a little bit, that'd be nice. Let's throw that out. I'll hold this one. We just need three more coins. We gotta go the more dangerous route for them. Oh no, oh boy. <laughs> Almost messed up there, but I'm fine, I'm fine. But yeah, let's talk about some of the announcements. We'll go, maybe we should start talking about the announcements at the beginning of the next race, because this race is almost over, and I, I don't wanna get caught off by it, but man, I gotta say. If I had to compare everything that's happened to C3, Nintendo definitely took the show from me, which is the first time that's happened in a very long time, especially since last year. They literally could not, because they technically just weren't even at E3 last year. They showed off Breath of the Wild, sort of, and that was it. So they didn't really have an E3 present last year, and a present presence last year. And usually Sony takes it from me every single year, but not this time. Not this time at all. Um, and, and I'm not gonna sit here and you know, complain that Sony's conference was necessarily bad. I just think it wasn't what people wanted. For me, it wasn't that great because while I do love Uncharted, while I do love all these awesome games that are coming out, like the new Spider-Man game, and the Days Gone game looks pretty cool, they aren't really for me entirely. Like, I love playing those games, but one of the big reasons I play games nowadays is to make videos on them. I like, like, that's sort of the thing about me. It's like, I play games on my own, I'm still a gamer, but 
a big portion of that comes from making videos. It's part of the fun for me. It's always been that way since I've done this, you know? Like, playing games and not doing it for recording is something I just don't really do too much so anymore because it's just not as fun. You know, not serving a purpose of, you know, making content on it. I don't know what it is. It's just always so much more fun when you do it that way. At least in my opinion. Some people might totally disagree. <laughs> Let me go ahead and try to get as many coins as I can. But because of that, like, of course, I have the Zebra Bonus channel where I cover T-plus ready games, like, of course, Uncharted and Overwatch are two games you can find on that channel if you've ever wanna watch me play those games. But it's not my main thing, you know? Most of my effort, 99% of it, goes right here onto the Zebra Gamer channel. So, of course, when E3 rolls around, I'm super excited to hear about all this cool new stuff I can do for this channel. That's what makes up most of the excitement in my life. <laughs> Which some people might find boring, but I find, you know, really fun. Uh, and that's why I sort of got bummed at Sony's conference. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still stuff coming from Sony that I definitely will be covering. First off, Crash Bandicoot Remastered releases on June 30th. Expect me to play so much of that because Crash Bandicoot was my childhood. And Knack 2 releases in September. I'm gonna be excited for that as well. We'll definitely be playing that. Never played the original Knack on the channel, but I have played it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of people think it sinks. I think it's fun. I mean, that's what it seems to be like most of my opinions on a lot of games, is that I think they're fun. People are like, oh, that game stinks. That's fine. Everybody has their own opinions, even if they could be better. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm like excited for a lot of stuff. It's just at their actual conference, they didn't show off anything I could actually cover on the channel because everything was T plus ready. I was like, darn. Nothing I really got hyped over during the conference itself. Now when it comes to Sony in general, like I said, yeah, Knack 2, Crash Bandicoot Remastered. Oh, the blue shell's coming, and guess who has the blue shell blaster? That would be me. I gotta wait for the perfect time, though. I can't get too excited and use it early because it happens to me all the time. But I got it, not a problem. And I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff. Apparently the word's getting out that they did hold back on announcements. They didn't announce every single thing, which I totally expect, because Sony has PSX now. I'm expecting them to, Get a lot of cool stuff out there during PlayStation um, experience in December. And that's sort of the thing why I, I'm not relying on E3 as much nowadays to, um, you know, suffice me with excitement. Like, it still excites me, and I'll talk all about Nintendo's conference and what's exciting me, because there's a lot of stuff exciting me. But I'm not relying on it as heavily as I would. Like, back, I think, in 2015, there wasn't too many cool games announced, and I was sort of freaking out. I was like, there really isn't too many games coming out this year that I want to show to my viewers. And it's like, obviously, you know, as a YouTuber, like, yeah, you know, you can make videos on any game, and it, and it should do well if you're entertaining enough. And that's true to a point, but also, a lot of channels grow based off of hype for new games, and also just the new game itself. You know, that's just sort of how YouTube works, you know? So that was really scary in 2015. And that's why it's like, I'm glad that we don't really have that anymore, you know, because, I mean, just look at Nintendo, because Nintendo announced ooh, Mario Color Splash at the end of the year after E3. Like, they just sort of announced whatever they want when they want to. So I'm hoping that sometime during the second half of the year, Nintendo does come on by and announces another little batch of games to get excited for while we're enjoying what's coming out right now. And oh man, do we have a lot of cool stuff coming out right now that I'm definitely gonna be making videos on. And I'm hoping the same thing for Sony, right? Like, that they announce a good batch of stuff in December that we can get super duper hyped for come 2018. And 2018 is probably gonna be pretty good, so far. At least the first half of 2018 is gonna be a lot of fun. Oh boy, this was not, that was not a good first lap. You know, it was turning out okay and then I messed it up. Ooh, unlucky Dry Bowser. Dry Bones versus Dry Bowser. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm making some progress though. That was a good shortcut I took. But yeah, I mean, first off, Let's just talk about it. I've been sort of like saying I'm gonna talk about it, but I haven't been. Let's talk about Nintendo's conference, right? So, some big things they announced. First off, they showed Mario Odyssey gameplay. Looks fantastic. Like, I cannot stop thinking about Mario Odyssey, and I'm sure I'll get into that, like, detail with that at some point or another, what I like about it, probably when I'm playing the game, because it's coming out a good chunk sooner than I was expecting it to. You know, obviously, I thought it was gonna be a holiday game, late November, typically what it's like. No. October 27th, and for me, the sooner the better, because this game is gonna be huge, it's probably gonna last us a little while. From what I see, it's just so huge in exploration, I can see, you know, me taking my time with the series and really going through everything and enjoying it. And because of that, I'm, I'm totally fine with it releasing late October, because that means, you know, throughout November and December, we can thoroughly explore it and enjoy it as much as we can, because, you know, usually I try to get as many videos out as I can during the holidays, because that's when most people are around the watch videos, so I'll be able to do that, and that'll be nice and fun. 
and then they announced two new games for 2018, and that's what I didn't like about the conference. They very clearly said that they were going to uh, only talk about games, or mostly talk about games in 2017. But that's not true at all, because they announced three new games that are coming out in 2018. So it's like, they sort of lied. Like, you know, you could say that they, you know, they were just sort of bending the truth a little, but they completely flat out said something that wasn't true. But that's okay. It's It happens, right? But the things they announced new for 2018 is Kirby. New Kirby game looks amazing. I've talked about this and I've reacted to it. I reacted to the announcement of it. New Kirby game looks amazing. Definitely gonna play that. The new Yoshi game looks fun. I really like the look of it, but it also looks a little bit bare. Like, it looks like it still needs more development. Like, there's the concept there, but the actual gameplay, like, like I watched them play it for 30 minutes yesterday during the day two of Treehouse Live. And I liked what I saw, but even after watching it for 20 minutes, I'm like, I'm sort of getting tired of it. Like, it doesn't feel like a game I'd be able to play for like an hour. Like, it feels like a game I could play for 15 minutes and I get my fill and I don't want to play it for a little while. And that can be good for certain games, but I wouldn't want that for a Yoshi game or any kind of mainline Nintendo game at all. You know, with, you know, a full game that would probably be $60, I want it to have a lot of staying power. You know, if it's some little mobile game, then it's like, yeah, if I get sick of it after 15 minutes and we'll pick it up tomorrow, you know, that's totally fine. It's a, you know, little mobile game. But that's not the case. It's gonna be a full-fledged Nintendo Switch game, so it needs to be, you know, diverse enough and developed enough to actually be interesting to play for more than a couple minutes at a time. So I'm hoping that as, you know, time goes on and we get closer to 2018, you know, we see that concept of the game, which is really cool. And I talked about it during my reaction video with that. It reminds me of Little Big Planet, the way that it has a very hand-created style. It is a platformer, but it's a more puzzle-focused platforming. Like, that's kind of like a little details that Little Big Planet seems to have, and I like that a lot. Let's go ahead and pick up all of that. Gotta get myself back up the 10 coins. We had a decent lead to start this off, which was really good. I am liking the control of this car. It's been working out pretty well for me. And then they announced Metroid Prime 4. Now, I've never played a Metroid Prime game, so obviously there wasn't too much for me to get excited for, especially since it was literally just the title of the game they had announced. Actually, they announced more than that, actually, for 2018. Like, I thought that was the last thing. But Metroid Prime 4, they just showed the title screen, and then they confirmed that there is a main title Pokemon game being made for the Switch. It will probably take more than a year to make, which I'm like, okay, that's cool, I guess. Like, I, I'm not really, you know, on the edge of my seat for it. I'm glad there's just a new Pokemon game coming, because I've talked about that. I'm really happy the Ultra Sun and Moon is coming out, because I've never been able to cover a Pokemon game while the game is new. Like, I've never had the chance to when, you know, all the previous Pokemon games came out, I didn't have a way to record them, but now I do, I have a 3DS recorder. And that's a topic I wanna get into, because there's a lot of 3DS games on the way that I really wanna play, and now I finally have the ability to do them, because I now have a 3DS capture card. So let's talk about that. First off, next month, July, we have Miitopian, and I want to—I definitely want to play Miitopia on the channel. If you guys don't know, if you, a lot of people sort of uh, liked my Miitomo playthrough last year. Can I get Blue Shell Blaster? This Blue Shell had to go so far to get me, and I'm not gonna get a Blue Shell Blaster. I picked up like four items by the time that thing was thrown. That stinks. But look at how big my lead is. I'm not really worried. Oh my gosh, my lead is huge. There we go. I think this is the last track of this uh, course, though. I never noticed the Yoshi egg on top of the finish line there. That's cute. But yeah, Miitopia looks really cool. And if you liked my Miitomo playthrough of last year, when I played through the Mi, or I didn't through, but I played the Miitomo app until basically I like everybody got bored of the game because it was just it was a lot of fun. But after a while, it just sort of becomes same old, same old. If you liked that, and you've liked the le like the amount of interaction I had with you viewers, like I, if you guys hadn't seen that project, there's an app called Mitomo, and it's where you can play with your Mies and you can interact with other Mies, and it's sort of like a socializing app. If you've ever seen Tomodachi Life, it's like the phone version of that. And everybody that I had in the game were fellow viewers, so everybody could feel like they were a part of it, and that was a lot of fun. And I did that until my friends list basically maxed out, and that's when I sort of stopped the series. So if you're ever wondering why I stopped it, it's just because people kept asking me to add them, and I literally could not. Okay, but there's this cup done. We did really good there for the Leaf Cup. First place everything, and we had a sincere lead for almost all of that. I don't think there was any point we were close to losing. 270 coins, hopefully we can get some more wheels, because we're sort of lacking in the wheel department. That would be nice. We're gonna find out in a moment. Let's find out. Single player. Grand Prix, 150cc. 
Dry bones again. And we got another car. Okay, well, it is my favorite car of all time, so we'll have to equip that next episode. The pipe frame is always the coolest. But now we're gonna go ahead and do the lightning cup, not the egg cup, the lightning cup. This actually has a, a few really cool tracks and a few tracks I don't like so much. So we'll have a bit of a 50-50 reaction with everything. But yeah, Metopia definitely doing, what's different about Metopia is that instead of it being socializing, you get to get all of your me, like your me's and your, your friends' me's and go on a gigantic RPG adventure. So I just can't wait for that. Adding a bunch of the zebra herd and going on an awesome RPG adventure. That sounds like so much fun. So I can't wait to get started with that. All right, let's boost it up. I hope I pressed it the right time. Looks like I did, could have been better. So that's gonna be fun. I'll let you guys know when I actually figure out my 3DS friend code because I haven't set up a 3DS uh, account on there or I haven't connected my account. So I don't really know if you guys can add me, but I'm pretty sure that when the game launches, if you have me added on me, Tomo, I forget the names of the games, but um, that, that'll be enough, that'll suffice, and you'll be able to add me through there. So that's great, let me know if you plan on getting Metopia, or you know if you just are interested in seeing that. There's also a side-scrolling Pikmin game called Hey Pikmin coming out. I don't plan on covering it, just because I've never played a Pikmin game before. If I end up you know, getting sent a copy of the game to show off, then I'll definitely play it, but I'm not gonna like go out of my way to get it with my own money if I don't end up getting like a review copy or anything. And then in August, what is coming out in August for 3DS? Not, maybe not too much. But there's also a new Metro, another new Metroid game coming out in 3DS. I might try that, it looks cool. I've never played a Metroid game before, but it looks like it could be cool. So I might go ahead and check that out. I think it's like a remake of a old Metroid game. I think Metroid 2, people were saying. The original Game Boy, it's a remake of. And then, most importantly, Mario & Luigi Remastered, Superstar Stalker Remastered, is coming to the 3DS in the beginning of October. I'm definitely playing that one. That one I'm the most hyped for, because I've never ever played, you know, Mario & Luigi, like a sincere amount. I think I played into like an hour of Superstar Saga, and then I've never played anything more. So I really wanna play through that game because it looks like a lot of fun. And I feel like I've always missed out the opportunity to play that, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Pick up some coins there. And they've actually added like a little secondary game to it called Bowser's Minions. And apparently that's supposed to be a story about, of course, Bowser's Minions that takes place at the same time as Superstar Saga. I cannot believe I got knocked off there. I need to catch up because we are not getting second place on the first race here. This is one of my favorite tracks too. We are not losing on TikTok clock. That's just not happening. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, I'm back in first. I don't actually know where the person in the second place went. I also thought that I hit the uh, the two, um, what's it called, item blocks, Aaron. Yeah, everybody just sort of backed off like crazy. I don't care, I won, there you go. Tick tock clock, first place, sounds good. Wait, that's, I think everything coming to the 3DS that I'm excited for, I plan on doing most of what I mentioned, especially Mario and Luigi, so excited for that. What else was announced? Hmm. Well, I mean, of course, I totally forgot. Mario and Rabbids, that was confirmed. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, that comes out in August. That was the game that comes out in August. So like every month, there's a little bit of Nintendo to enjoy. Next month, August, a little bit in September. I know the uh, new Metroid, whatever, is coming out in August, or no, in September. And then in October is when things really pick up again. Man, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then there's plenty of other stuff coming out too. I mean, outside of the realm of Nintendo, we got ourselves, next month we have, well I mean at the very, very end of this month, last day of this month we have Crash Bandicoot Remastered. Then we have, next month, we have our first ever DLC to Lego Worlds, which is gonna be a pretty big one. It looks really cool. Darn it, I threw that at the worst time possible. He just put out his banana. This is a cool track though. The, this one and, this, and the previous track are my favorites out of this cup. Like, they're both really fun. But then the next two cu courses, tracks, whatever, are not so fun. So it's a balance, it's a big old balance. But yeah, um, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, July next month, definitely playing through that. I love Season 1, and you guys did too. That was a fun series, a lot of you guys were invested in that one. Then, I think that's it for July. I mean, that plus, uh, you know, the stuff I already mentioned, the two 3DS games coming out, Metopia and stuff. Then in August, what other games besides Nintendo games are releasing? <sighs> Man, I don't know. I don't know what other, like it's hard for me to remember which month things are coming out. It's hard to say. 
But there's a lot of stuff coming, so like I think it's a great year to be a part of the hashtag Zebra Herd, and I'm glad you're with me on this journey. And of course, I forgot to mention, ARM starts this tomorrow, <laughs> this Friday. If you're watching this today, this was posted, it should be Thursday. ARMS releases this Friday, the 16th. I will be starting that, you know, the day it launches. I hope you enjoy that series, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I might play some Pokemon Tournament. That releases in September as well. I don't know them. Like, I want to. I just don't know if I'll have the chance to with everything that's going on. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just getting hyped for a ton of games. That's what I do best, is just getting excited for stuff. But, like, that's about everything. If I also... No, I think the only other thing I meant, I didn't mention that I was announced at E3 that I'm, like, super duper hyped for it, is a new Dragon Ball game. But that doesn't come out until 2018, so I don't have to hype myself up for it too much, but it looks so good. Um, yeah, that's everything. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure I'm missing something. But that's okay. Oh, and Lucky's Town. Lucky Town releases in September, I think. That game looks cool. Super Lucky's Town. It's a sequel. And that's everything. It's, it's so hard to think of everything. There's so many games. So many stanking games. Well, I've been having a lot of fun with Mario Kart, you know, before we get ahead of ourselves. Mario Kart's been a lot of fun, which is why I'm glad I'm almost finished up 150cc. I definitely think, it seems like a lot of you do want to move on to new stuff, though, which is why I'm glad ARMS is coming out in just a day or so. I'm guessing that tomorrow, in the morning, I'm gonna post the last episode of Mario Kart for now, like I said, uh, when we finish up 150cc in the next episode. That'll be the last episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for now, for a good while until we move on, and then we'll move on to ARMS later that day, and that'll be another mainline series I'll be focusing on. I also want to focus on finishing up LEGO City Undercover, because LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 is coming out. So many stinking games. A lot of them. <laughs> that just means more fun to have, though, and that's always fun. Well, that's sort of the thing. I feel like that's different between gaming now and gaming when I was a kid. Like, usually there was only like one or two games every year that I had to get at that, you know? Most of the time I was getting games that came out a couple years ago. But nowadays there's always a new game to be excited for in just like one or two weeks. And that's just sort of what's going on in gaming nowadays. And honestly, I think that's cool. That's always what I wanted. Is there, like that's sort of the thing about life I love so much is that there's always something to look forward to, especially, you know, if you make it yourself, you know? If there's something you're working on that you're looking forward to, that's always super exciting. And there's stuff I'm definitely working on myself that makes things even more exciting. But that's just like, that really blows me away. Is that there's always something to look forward to and it's always what I've ever wanted, you know? Let's go ahead and get that. Let's break this turn. No, are you kidding me? Wow, that was the worst luck. Awful timing. No dry Bowser, catch. Yeah, I sniped him. That actually worked. Oh boy, that thing almost landed on me. Gosh, this is exciting. This map, I don't like it because I always get bad luck. You know, like I, you know. What happened to that blue shell? What? We might have to see the replay on that one. What just happened in that blue shell? Oh man, I hope I remember to see the replay on that one because that was ridiculous. What happened? It just, I think it got hit by a wall or something. That's malarkey. I might just have to drift behind Peach here for a little bit and maybe she will hit all the, you know, get hit by all the blue shells. Oh geez, why am I drifting that way? That's really weird. Excuse me, my double item. Thank you. Oh, no, okay, I hit her, I hit her. That's good. I was gonna stink if I get in front of her the second I get a red shell. Man, I, the turns are just so tough on this map. And it gets tougher with each lap because everything stinking is falling because it's a crumbling volcano. Who thought it would be a good idea to, to drive here? This is not fit for racing. Not at all. I mean, Dry Bones might like it because usually he's used to it. You know, he's usually in all the lava and all the, oh, come on, castle levels, so he's used to all the, the heat. But I mean, I don't think that means he enjoys it, you know, like it's summertime here, I live here, and where I'm living in real life, and it's really hot, but I don't enjoy it. Just because you live somewhere doesn't mean that you have to like it. Oh boy. Maybe it's just a means to an end, it pays the bills to live there and work for Bowser, maybe Bowser pays him well. I can only hope. I would hope if Bowser does anything, he pays his troops well. You know, if he's a bad guy, at least make him a good bad guy. <laughs> Does that make any sense? I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and throw that green shell back there and win this race. Let me see that replay. I need to see what happened to that blue shell. Cause something happened to it. And I don't know what. So let's go ahead, view highlight. I need to put it, edit highlight reel, 
restoration full. And then it was at the... Wait. Full, okay. Oh, no, it's restarting now. Oh, yeah, if you don't restart it. There we go. So we're going through everything now. And it was at the end of the second lap. I'm sorry we're taking a big detour here, but I just, I have to see if I can't get an angle at what happened. I mean, maybe I won't because you can't control the camera angles and that's where this on uh, replay editor is awful. Because you just sort of get whatever angle you get. Okay, come on, come on. It was at the end, or the beginning of the second lap. Yeah, we sniped him. Coming on over here. Got a few characters in front of me. It was right about here. Wait. Oh yeah, okay, there it is. Man, you can't see it. Gosh darn it, this game with its awful angles for replays for no reason. So I passed a Koopa, maybe if we, here, give me a second, I'll try to find out. Koopa Troopa. It has this forced camera angle again. Gosh darn it, they ruined the replay editor. They had like such a good chance of making it way better than it is, and you just can't see what happened to it, it just disappears. I guess it must have fallen in a crevice, which is like, why can the blue shell even do that? Either way, we're at Lightning Road now. I really don't like this track. This might be my least favorite track in the entire game, or at least maybe tied with like Warriors Road or Warriors, yeah, you know, Warriors Railroads, something like that. We've already played that track, I think. No, we haven't. That's in the DLC. Fun. No, is it? Yeah, it is. Maybe. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is, but we're on Rainbow Road here. I don't like this for a few different reasons. This is one of those tracks where if you fall behind in the second half of the track, you're basically done for. There's like no way you can recover because it's only one lap. Even though it's a looped, it's a one lap looped track. What sense does that make? Like, what's the problem with this one just being super long? I mean, I guess it gets boring if you get, get ahead. I'm gonna die. Oh, no, I, I saved myself. Even though I had to ruin my boost, it's definitely better than, oh gosh, getting squished by a chain chomp or falling off. Here we go, get that speed boost, just like that. Pick up a coin or two, take the lead. I definitely need to hug the track a little bit better than what I am. Just like that, get the purple speed boost, keep drifting. See, that's always fun. I enjoy that kind of stuff. It's just one of those tracks that is really punishing, especially online, because it's like you get hit by like one, one item, and that's all you need, and then you're just not gonna get first anymore, it's done. All right, get the double item. I right know we're almost on the track already. Like, they made what could have been one of the longest tracks, like, one of the shortest. It has to be the shortest track, or, I mean, maybe Baby Park, but, like, overall time, right? From beginning to the race to the end of the race, it takes less time than Baby Park, I'm almost certain. Not just, like, one lap in Baby Park, obviously, is shorter than this whole lap here. But, like, as an entirety of a race, I think this is the shortest. There we go. Now we gotta start drifting this way. That was good, go like that, and we're good, we won. Which I expect so, because we've won pretty easily throughout this entire episode, and throughout the entire 150cc, to be honest, we haven't lost a single race, or gotten worse than first a single race, so hopefully I didn't just jinx myself, but there we go, 150cc completed on the Retro Cups, let's go. So there we go, we got first place in every single race in Lightning Cup. Not a surprise at this point, it's sort of become a little bit of routine to get first place in 150cc, but there we go. There are all the normal game cups done. Um, yeah, but now we just gotta tackle online, not online, what am I talking about, the DLC. The online DLC, that doesn't make any sense. What am I talking about? No. <laughs> it's a DLC cups, we actually have two more episodes now that I think about it, which makes me feel like a total dingus. Unless we do all the DLC cups in one episode, Maybe I'll do that, just so that we can finish things up nicely, you know, be able to finish everything up in the final episode tomorrow. I don't know, we could always go one more episode. Doesn't really matter too much. No matter what though, Arm Series is starting tomorrow, so if you wanted to see that, stay tuned, get excited. You can go ahead and join the notification squad if you wanna make sure that you can get notified of when it goes up. Definitely going up tomorrow, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Bones so I know you've watched it in the video and you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.